Here's my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and fill the longing of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Here's my cup. Come fill it up and make me whole. Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me for the reading of the Word of God. We are to Psalm 132, a song of degrees. And in this psalm, David's talking about the Ark of the Covenant and about the Lord making it his habitation. You know, today the Lord lives in our hearts. We call on the name of Jesus. We invite him to come in, and he has told us, My Father and I will come in and sup with you. So we want to be full of him. He sent the Holy Ghost to us to fill us. We can be filled with his Spirit. This is a wonderful, amazing thing of great promise to us today that we have the Lord with us and in us. Praise God. Psalm 132. Lord, remember David and all his afflictions, how he swore unto the Lord and bowed unto the mighty God of Jacob. Surely I will not come into the tabernacle of my house nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to mine eyes or slumbering to mine eyelids until I find out a place for the Lord and habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Lo, we heard of it at Ephratah. We found it in the fields of the wood. We will go into his tabernacles. We will worship at his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou and the ark of thy strength. Let thy priests be clothed with righteousness, and let thy saints shout for joy. For thy servant David, for thy servant David's sake, turn not away the face of thine anointed. The Lord hath sworn in truth unto David, he will not turn from it. Of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimony that I shall teach them, their children shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore. For the Lord hath chosen Zion, he hath desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever, here will I dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provision, I will satisfy her poor with bread, I will also clothe her priests with salvation, and her saint shall shout aloud for joy. There will I make the horn of David to bud. I have ordained a lamp for mine anointed. His enemies will I clothe with shame, but upon himself shall his crown flourish. Praise the Lord God Almighty. Just remember that as we praise the Lord, he inhabits the praise of his people. We are a blessed people. Pray for Israel. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem as we are instructed to pray. And we pray knowing that God, the covenant he has with his people, he will fulfill his part. We are protected. We are provided for. Our God is faithful. Well, I love you. Jesus loves you more. If you need to give your heart to the Lord, I hope that you will obey Acts 2.38. It tells you to repent, to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Be blessed.